Hey everyone, I'm Noble Absinthe, and welcome back to my Samurai Jack Retrospective. Today we're on Season 5, Episode 3, or... 94. I, I really don't like the naming convention so far, so let's get started. Well, we continue right where we left off. Jack is being sent downstream bleeding from his stab wound, and after a while of being tossed around in the water, he finally wakes up. We then transition to nightfall, and Jack is still floating downstream. It isn't until the frog comes in and tells us to pick up the pace. They're coming! Jack then wanders around the woods, leaving a blood trail behind, with a familiar haunting image lurking him. He makes his way to a cave to check for his wound, he removes the dagger, and then conks out a little while. Jack then suffers from hallucinations that both haunt him and give him encouragement. Jack has this internal struggle after killing one of the daughters of Aku. This episode confirms the retcon that Jack hasn't killed a human before. Now he has to make a choice of whether or not he has to kill the rest of them, or be killed himself. Jack readies himself in the cave with the dagger, and meets the wolf that we saw in the previous episode. They both have survived much, and Jack starts to fade back into unconsciousness. We then get a dream sequence. He remembers playing with his toys and going on trips with his family. He also remembers when their wagon would be attacked by bandits. His father would then take care of business. Leave now and live, or stay and face your destiny. Jack's father would then annihilate the foolish bandits as Jack watched. Jack then awakes and sutures his wound closed, and our wolf friend brings home some dinner. They both enjoy some touching moments together, and the wolf then leaves knowing that Jack will be alright. We then flash back to Jack being cleaned up by his father. He is told an important life lesson. The decisions you make and the actions that follow are a reflection of who you are. You cannot hide from yourself. Jack then gets up, fully restored and he knows what to do. We then transition back to the Daughters of Aku, making their way out of the destroyed ruins. Turns out they weren't really that close behind Jack at all. We see one of them pulling out their sister from the wreckage. All they can say for their fallen sister is this. Death is failure. No burial is given, and they push on to find Jack. They follow Jack's blood trail, and the music cuts after hearing a branch breaking. They are shocked to see a deer, their first animal they have ever laid their eyes on. They see a male deer approaching, showing his affection, and they're confused, showing that even though they're probably the strongest threat Jack has ever faced so far, they're just girls that are simply blind to the world. They ready their weapons and are prepared to face Jack. Jack then echoes the words spoken by his father. He even gives them a second chance. But the words, they fall on deaf ears. Jack then begins killing them, one by one and we get ourselves a really interesting animation technique as well. The overabundance of negative space represented through fog. It covers the trees, the ground, the sky, everything, completely, allowing for some interesting angles and shots. It's very much like the episode Samurai vs. Ninja. Jack gets himself a hold of a two-handed weapon, my personal favorite of the daughters, and is now down to three. He drops it down a pit and wants to fight without one. He throws one over the edge and knocks another one off with a single punch. The last one to remain is Ashi. I didn't figure her to be the one to use a chain weapon, but I did see this coming though. Again, Chekhov's gun. Ashi then tries to insult Jack by saying the typical stuff he's heard for the past 50 years. You won't escape Aku, you're a parasite on humanity, yada yada yada, just, just die already. Then oh, oh shit, Jack then falls too. Well, hopefully Ashi or one of her sisters can cushion that landing for him. Well, this episode was certainly something. Definitely wasn't expecting such a long, drawn-out start. I was expecting some internal thoughts uh, of Jack and his father, you know, padding out the beginning of this episode. But in reality, those were the quickest scenes in this episode. This episode had a lot of Jack being alone, bleeding, some haunting images of whoever this dude is. I'm, I'm going to start calling him Aku Jr. because I don't know what he is yet. And we have some bonding with a wolf, which I legitimately enjoyed. The fight with the daughters was really cool, and the fog trick that was used during the fight was, again, interesting. I feel like it was a cool effect in that it wasn't really used to its full effect like in the, another Samurai Jack episode I just listed, the uh, Samurai vs. Ninja episode. As for the death of the daughters, it really shows how powerful Jack can be without his titular sword. And with just one experience with the daughters, he ended them in such a short time here. Last episode, he was being rocked by them. Now he accepts that he has to kill to push on forward. I also just love his reaction to Ashi. He just... he just doesn't care anymore. 
When the daughters of Aku were first shown to us, some of you guys said Jack is going to fall in love with Ashi. Even I said something about Chekhov's gun, how, how they were such an amazement about the outside world. In this episode, we had a minor moment of their amazement, and it was with affection. You guys may get your Jack and Ashi shipping after all. I mean, what's, what's six dead sisters when you really weren't close to begin with? I also just love Ashi's petulance before she falls. I don't know, the, the only thing I could think of was how cute it all sounded. None of it had any weight to it at that point. We all know she doesn't even know what a deer is, so her spouting off to Jack is kind of adorable. I hope she breaks her fall on one of her sisters or something. I, I really want Ashi to stay around, and I'm not the only one. After this episode, I found this fan art of it. It's just great. I, I love it. It's the, the whole baka, stupid, you know, your scum type picture you see in every anime ever. Overall, it was a solid episode. I didn't really do anything super meaningful, aside from giving Jack a new resolve, and it ended on a cliffhanger on a literal cliff. I just really was expecting Jack to end up in this berserk-looking world. He's in the same attire from the preview, so we, we can't be that far off from that episode. Anyway guys, if you liked my review, please feel free to subscribe and tick that chime next to it to stay updated. Likes and shares are always super nice, and I do read every comment. And while I'm doing these retrospectives, I've been wondering if you guys would like to see more out of this channel. And, you know, more Samurai Jack related stuff. I'm always open for suggestions, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.